Hey everyone, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a layout for the Hip Kit Club design team and I am doing this layout for Mixed Media Monday. It will be up on the Hip Kit Club Facebook page and I will leave it linked down below so you guys can check it out. I'm using the December 2019 kits and I'm just kind of flipping through the pages trying to figure out what I want to use. For Mixed Media Monday, we are to use a stencil and some embossing powders. So I'm going to be using the exclusive December 2019 stencil that came in the color kit. It's right there to the left of my layout, and it's a starry stencil. It's really, really cute. Also going to be using this paper here from Pretty Little Studio from the Glitter and Ice Collection. It's designed by Kim Watson, and I just tore a piece of the 12 by 12 pattern paper and at first I thought I was going to use this pretty pink cardstock from the cardstock kit, but I'm going to swap it out for the coastal um, blue cardstock from Basil. It's a textured cardstock, and I'm going to pull that out and kind of swap those out for you, and then I will um, start figuring how I want this layout to go. Um, my thought was that I tore this page the pattern paper at the top and I left it so it kind of dipped down in the center and so I thought I would just kind of do a layout where I could place the photo in the center and kind of um, have all the embellishments around the photo and then kind of going down in the center. I also want to create some type of a snowy look to the background with some mixed media. So I will use some gesso, I will use lots of splatters and mist and then also the stencil with some embossing powder. I am going to use the gesso to kind of white, it's white gesso and I'm just going to kind of smudge it with my finger um, just to kind of make it look snowy and frosty and I'm just going to do it right here along this line here and then some in the center but not all the way down to the bottom of the layout. And I'm just smudging. This is just some cheap um, white gesso. I don't, I'm not even sure where I got it from. Um, but um, I'm just using my finger to smudge it in and rub it into the paper. And then once that dries, I will do the stencil and I use some shimmers, dazzlers, sponge sugar. Uh, with the stencil and I just use um, the little palette that I have there to kind of get that through the stencil. Just kind of placing it in uh, random spots on the layout. I know I want it to be kind of peeking out underneath that pattern paper so I will stick some um, on the sides where I know that paper will, will be, be at and then some down the center. For the embossing powders, I actually pulled one from my stash and it's from Katherine Pooler and it's a sparkle embossing, wow, embossing powder and it's very glittery and um, I just sprinkle it on the layout while the sponge sugar dazzlers is still wet so that it would stick to some of the stars and then I kind of heat it, hit it with my heat tool and then I did let it dry overnight. Um, I was really tired after um, starting the layout, it was late at night, but I knew I wanted to get the mixed media part done so that it could dry overnight and then I could come back tomorrow and finish it up. So you'll see me get out the um, Catherine Pooler Dazzlers here and just, they're not Dazzlers, but uh, Sparkle Embossing Powder and kind of shake it on my layout. And then I'm going to set this aside and pull in the other coastal cardstock that I have and kind of lay out how I want my layout to go. That way, when I come back the next day, I can go ahead and get started and finish it up. So here I am adding the Wow Embossing Powder and just sprinkling it um, just randomly on the page. I'll shake it up a little bit. And I thought the color matched really good with the layout. So I'm gonna set that aside to dry. I'm gonna pull out this other piece of blue uh, coastal cardstock that I got in the kit and then kind of pull out the different embellishments and pull out the things that I want to use on this layout. I have my photo here printed in black and white. I use 
um, a pick frame to make my collages and then I usually edit in a color story and then I print my photos at home on my Canon PIXMA printer. So the photo is of my sweet little lovable pitbull Lola and she is always cold. I did a little snapchat filter and put some um, little reindeer antlers on and I was trying to get them to go on her but I can never get the snapchat filters to work on her so and she doesn't like to look at the camera anytime I try to get a photo with her she her eyes are always looking the other way or she'll try and turn her head she does not like selfies at all so I had to hold her head next to mine but she's always super close to me and when it's cold out she hates it she's got scarves and and things that, so when I do take her out I always bundle her up in a scarf and um, I want to get her some hoodies and so I just thought I'd create this winter layout because she really hates winter and she's just always super close and cuddly to me to try and stay warm so I thought this would be a cute little photo to document um, with this wintry scene so I'm just pulling out some different um, die cuts from this exclusive pack of die cuts and there's some snowflakes some snowmen um, I also pulled out the Say It in Crystals Prima. Um, they're just so pretty. They're like little gems and they're really, really dimensional. I pulled those out as well because I know I want to use those on my layout. Um, there is this other pack of exclusive die cuts and there's tons of florals and stems and leaves in this pack. So I'm going to go through these and see if there's anything that I want to use on this layout. I have the flare sitting there as well. And then there's also some exclusive stickers that I will use on this layout. So I'm just going to go through and pull out some different embellishments. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to let you know about the Hip Kit Club Facebook group. There is tons of inspiration in there. Lots of sharing going on from the design team members and then also subscribers sharing their layouts. Um, if people have questions or they need um, advice on let's say like a silhouette or how to use a punch you know they post it in the group and they get great feedback from you know the the design team members and also from the people in the group um, we have sketch challenges um, you can there's just tons and tons of inspiration in there so if you're not part of that group head on over to Facebook and look up hit hip kit club group and then um, you have to join group and then you're accepted into the group and you'll be able to see everything that goes on in there. It's a lot of fun. Um, and then also register on the Hip Kit Club website for a free account. There are a ton of cut files. So if you love cut files, you love to use your Cricut or your Cameo or your Scan and Cut, you can download these cut files for free and then use them on your projects. I love cut files. If you follow me, you know that I use them on about 95% of my projects. There is a look at the layout real fast. Um, you can see the glitter on the stars and I went ahead and added sprinkles using tinsel, Heidi Swap Color Shine, and then some white acrylic paint watered down um, and I just used my paintbrush and kind of flicked it on. I also used some of the Lindy's Stamp Gang from the color kit and I think it's Jana Jade and I sprinkled some of that on there as well. So that's how I got all the little sprinkles all over the page. <clears throat> so back to what I was saying, um, head on over to the Hit Kit Club website, register for a free account, check out all the cup files. I, I promise you there are a ton of them going back years and you guys can have access to all of those. So I'll leave the links to the website and the Facebook group down below so you guys can head on over and check all that out. Here's my photo. I have it popped up on some foam and I'm gonna get that stuck down right there in the center. And then I'm going to start to add some embellishments. There's some cute snowmen that I want to add. This is one of the die cuts. And then I will add a snowman um, sticker to the other side. This little die cut that says Hello Winter. I'm going to pop this up as well with some foam squares from Thermoweb. And then place that right down at the bottom of my photo.
<clears throat> I love all of the white acrylic splatters all over the layout. It just reminds me of snow. I did add some white splatters to the pattern paper as well, just so it kind of mixed, it kind of all flowed together um, as one piece. And I really like the way that looks. I'm gonna add some of these exclusive die cut snowflakes to the page. And some of these I will pop up with some foam adhesive. I have these two little trees. I'm gonna pop these up as well and stick these close, or stick these to the side of the layout there. And this is just some fun foam that I got at Walmart. And works really well to pop up these die cuts. Gonna fuss around with these trees for a minute and get these stuck down. And I really like the way that that looks. I usually keep embellishments pretty simple, especially with such um, so much mixed media. Um, the embellishment is kept pretty light. I'm gonna open up this chipboard. This is from the Crate Paper Snowflake Collection and it was part of the December embellishment kit. I'm just gonna try to find some different chipboard pieces to add to the page. And I do want to add this tree. I'm trying to make it work on the side, but I'm actually going to go ahead and place it on the other side next to the snowman. I don't know if you are this way, but I fuss with die cuts so much. Like getting them placed in the right, well, where I want them to go. I go back and forth like, <laughs> do I do it on this side? Do I do it on that side? I don't know. I always have the hardest time trying to find the perfect placement. But I did just go ahead and stick it down because I kept messing with it. And I did cut a lot of it out because I kept going from the left to the right to the left to the right. And then trying different trees. And then finally I was like, just stick it down behind the snowman. And um, I like the way that it looks there. Okay, I had to take a break for just a second. My little one was yelling. He needed some help um, with his toy. So I had to go and help him really quick. So I'm just... Um, getting these snow <clears throat> exclusive snowflakes down, excuse me, onto the layout. And then I'm also going to add a snowman sticker to the right side of the photo. I'm going to pop that up on some foam as well. And if you hear some noise in the background, my uh, pit bull Lola is right next to me and she's snoring. So if you hear <laughs> snoring, it's Lola. Um, it's really hard for me to film or do a voiceover because my house is always chaos and because it's winter I would sometimes go to the car and do voiceovers in there but it's winter and cold so I'm not doing that I have other videos that need voiceovers and getting a quiet moment is kind of hard to do in the house so Right now, I am just adding some of these Prima Say It and Crystals gems. They're so, so pretty. They are um, really dimensional, and honestly, I'm so glad that they put this in the kit because this is something that I would have never purchased on my own, and I love when I get a product like that in a kit that I would have never purchased um, because now I really want to go back and look at the Prima products and things um, and see if there's other gems that I could use because these are so so pretty there's four different colors and I'm going to use the pink ones on the layout they already have adhesive on the back which makes it really nice so I'm going to add some of these to the page um, just kind of randomly all over the page and I really love the way that it looks the last thing I do is going to add some word strips from um, glitter and ice from pretty little studio this alpha set comes in the pocket life page or pocket life kit and there are some word strips at the bottom so i'm going to add some of those to my layout and then add my journaling using my we are memory keepers typewriter and then that will finish up my layout i absolutely love how this turned out i love the mixed media in the background um, it was really really easy to do and i just love this collection and then the photo of lola and i is just super duper cute so I will have some still shots at the end for you and I will leave everything linked down below for you guys. So if you're interested in anything, you guys can check out the links and then head on over and check everything out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up. 
Um, if you're interested in where you can follow me, I will leave my links down below as well for my blog, my Instagram, and uh, my Facebook. So I hope you guys all have a wonder wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.